Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part eight of our series of session and the concluding session regarding interest calculation feature in Tally. So in this session, today we will understand how we can capture the interest that Tally calculates into the books of accounts of the respective parties in case if you want to levy interest. So again, there are two types of interest impact that you can bring for the party ledger. One is the simple interest where the interest will not be levied on the interest portion of the amount. The other thing is the compound interest where once you account the interest in the party ledger, the interest amount also, if it is outstanding, it will start calculating interest on interest. So let us go to tally and see how we can start capturing the interest into the party master. First, let us view the interest parameter that we have set for the party master. If you observe, we have set a simple interest parameter where for this party, we want to levy 12% interest per annum on debit balance and interest to be calculated from the due date of invoice and then rounding off is normal with the limit of 1 rupee. With this parameter, first let us go and view the interest calculation from the interest report. We can observe here that the invoice was raised on 1st of January and 10 days of credit is provided. So interest is being calculated from 12th of January till the current date, which is 79 days at 12% interest. The interest amount is 1,870. Now let us say that this company wants to actually charge or levy interest on the outstanding invoice to the customer. So how do we now capture this value? Because we have seen that this amount of 1,870 is just the calculation that the tally is provided and the same has not impacted the books of accounts in the company. Like I mentioned, this is like what is scenario. Now, if you want to charge this interest to the party, you have to pass an entry to impact the books of account. Since this amount is going to be receivable from the party, we have to increase the amount to be received. So the voucher type that we are going to use here is the debit note. So by raising the debit note to the extent of the amount that you are going to capture in the debit note will get added to the outstanding amount and it will increase the amount payable. In the same way, you will use a credit note in case where if your vendor is charging interest and if you want to incorporate that interest in your books of account of your vendor's party, then you are going to pass a credit note. So let us now make an entry and see the impact of the interest being captured in the party ledger master. Let us pass a debit note. Now for you to pass a debit note, remember your secret number three, click on go to and here on top, you see this option called create voucher. Take your cursor to create voucher and press enter. Now you have to change this voucher type to debit note. So on the right hand side button bar, you will see this other vouchers button, which is F10. Either you can use your keyboard shortcut F10 or click on other voucher. Once you click on other voucher, you have the list of other vouchers where you will now notice there is this debit note. Select debit note and once you have selected debit note, this is your normal debit note. Tally has an inbuilt mechanism to capture the interest amount of the value that Tally is calculated in the interest report automatically. So for you to get those values automatically, you have to now change mode of this debit note for levying interest. So how do you change it? On the right hand side button bar, you have this button called change mode. Click on change mode and you have the list of modes that you can use for your debit note. So the last one is use for interest accounting. So once you select this, now Tally is going to ask you whether you want to treat this interest amount 
as simple interest or compound interest. First, let us see this example with simple interest and see what would be the impact of this transaction. I'm going to leave this as no enter. And now let us say that you want to levy interest till the last date of February, which is 28th of February. So you have to now debit the party ledger. So select the party ledger, enter and automatically now tally will show you what is the amount of interest that tally is computed as per the interest parameter that you have set for the outstanding amount. So from 11th of January till 28th of February for 48 days, tally is calculated the interest amount, which is 1136. So we saw till date it was 1807. So select this reference and press end of list enter and now since you want to treat this interest as a simple interest it is now asking you for an additional reference which is a new reference so that that reference will remain as a new line item so you say new reference and then you can say interest interest charges as the reference id enter accept and you are going to credit your income so you can create other income or whatever is the ledger that you want to create for your other income you can create the ledger and then post it to that particular ledger so i'm going to select other income and we are going to accept this voucher let us see the impact of this interest entry you will notice that the amount outstanding shows still the original amount as 72,000. But now the interest that it is computed is from 1st of March till the current date because from 12th of January till 20th of February, whatever was the interest amount we have already accounted in the party ledger. Now let us quickly go to the bill wise outstanding of this particular party and see the impact of the interest entry that we have passed again use your secret number three click on go to and type outstanding and select ledger outstanding and select the party as fourth estate enter and this is the ledger outstanding of the party so i'm going to press alt f5 for detail and if you notice here on 28th february the interest charge through the debit note of 1136 which is a simple interest has created a new reference and the original bill value is 72,000 and the interest amount outstanding till February that we have captured is shown as an additional reference and the overall amount outstanding is going to be 73,000. 136 so once you pass an interest entry with simple interest this is the impact that you're going to let us now pass the interest entry with the compound effect and then we will see the impact so i'm going to come back to this particular entry enter here and let us delete this entry and pass a new entry with the compound interest impact again use go to come to create voucher enter and the date of the voucher is again 28th of February. Now we will change the mode and then convert the interest to be charged to compound interest. So come to change mode. Again, select use for interest accounting. And this time we will say amount to be treated as compound interest. Make this as yes, enter and let us pass the entry selecting the party again you are seeing the same value as per the previous entry that we have made so select this and if you notice now tally is not asking you for any new reference why because this interest amount of 1136 we want to treat this as compound so that from the day that you have accounted this interest and if the amount is still outstanding tally will now start calculating interest on interest and you are going to save this voucher now this is our ledger outstanding report and if you see the change here earlier we saw there was a new reference for the interest amount but now since we wanted the interest impact to be a compound interest you will see interest compound and if you notice here 
the opening amount was 72000 and the pending amount is now 73136 it is included this amount of interest into the original invoice amount now from 1st of march tally is going to calculate interest on 73136 instead of the original invoice amount which we saw in our previous simple entry scenario so let us quickly see the interest calculation report you will now observe that the outstanding amount is including the interest amount of 1136 and from 1st of march till the current date for 31 days at that rate of 12% tally is calculated interest including interest on the earlier interest that you have already captured in the books of account so this is the compound effect i hope these sessions on interest feature in tally would have given you a fair idea of how easy and simple it is for you to enable interest parameter for any party and do a kind of what if scenario for you to see the loss of return on investment on the overdue outstanding bills. I hope you will make use of this feature just to have a what if scenario kind of an analysis, even though you might not be wanting to levy interest to the party. So in the next series of session, we will cover a very important aspect of how to take backup. And once you have taken a backup, how can you restore the data in case your existing data gets corrupted or renders useless? Okay. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next series of session. Thank you very much.